Hi, hello everyone. And today I'm going to show you first how you can download file from the internet using C Sharp. Then I will show you how to use threading, and then how to eliminate most or the common problem that you will face or you will deal with when you use threading in .NET. So first we have to include our our new namespace, which is System.NET. And then we will create a new method we will call it download image. It's an image anyway. Uh, and from the beginning, I did a small form with one with one button and one label. And the label I call it LBL file name. And our button with name with part download. Anyway, you can download it. Or you can rename it whatever you want. Okay, and first we have we have to instantiate our uh, a, uh, a reference from a class called webpoint.com webpoint sorry and we will call it wc and then webpoint then wc for download file here and with two parameters. The first parameter is the URL for our file that we want to know, and the second parameter is the file name. So our first parameter is is our is, is this this image. We will copy this URL and we will put it in our application. Actually, I did it anyway. So here's here's our URL. Paste is the same. Okay and. It's a string. I did string. I name it file URL, and then we write file file URL, and then the name of our local file. So we will name it as something similar to the original from the original original file, which is landscape. Then. GPG or whatever or GPEG the same anyway and then after the loading finish we need to see if finish or not so we will we will show we will show message box show show and then So and here's here's the route for our application. So when when we run our application, that file should be downloaded. But I want to show you one thing once we start downloading the file. Ah, sorry, I didn't I didn't put this method in the click event. So this is the click event for our button here. So so we will call. Download image, download image. Okay, all right. And then once we started the once once the download has been started, you will see something strange. But this is why we should use threading. Anyway, if you notice, we can't move the application. Your application totally freeze. You can't move right or left, nothing, nothing, until we have to wait until the file has been finished and downloaded. So it's a big file, so roughly it will take, will take a few seconds, maybe half half minute, half a minute. Okay, done. Downloading finished. Okay, now only now we can move our application, as you see. And here is our file. We will open here. Yeah, so beautiful image. And here is the one. So our file has been downloaded, but during the, but during the process we couldn't move our application. That's why we should use threading in .NET.
especially if you if you execute method that takes takes time to perform your finish. So so first okay so if you want to use a threading in.NET first we should include or we should import a namespace, a new namespace which is system.threading and then we instantiate reference from thread class thread or th or whatever you name whatever you want to name it and then in the click event we will we will type th equal new thread equal new thread start thread start and thread start we will we will type the name the name of the method or the delegate for that method or it's like a pointer on this method anyway we will not go into details on what is delegate and what it what isn't we will just write just the name just the name of the method and then th dot start very easy very easy and then after we after we will show so after we will show the method block, we will call th dot join. So our new thread will join our main thread. And first we I will delete this file. We don't need it anymore because we will do it again. Here we go. Uh, <coughs> let's see. Let's see our thread in action. As you see, we can move our application freely and smoothly and no problem. Yep, our application hasn't been hauled, moving freely. Move right, left, left, right. And then bam. Bam, bam, and then our our file has been finished. So, okay. So this is this is the threading in action. What will happen if we need to access our control inside our thread? Let's see what will happen if we here. We try to set the text property for our label. So we will we will put the name of the file on our label. Let's see what will happen. And again, I will delete the file again. Let's see what will happen. We need to try to access our layout inside a different thread, which will take few few seconds. It's a big file anyway. We will come on. Hurry up. Here we go. See what will happen? We have an exception called cross thread operation. Or cross thread operation not valid. Because we, we attempt to access our label inside our, our thread. The problem came, or the problem come, because we have two threads right now. The main thread that, that run the whole application and the second thread that we have created. So you can't access any of, of, your, of your graphic control 
inside a different thread. So what we should do, we so so to take control of this of this problem, we will not deal with our label inside inside our thread. So we will deal with data memory, and when when this data memory finished, we can assign this data memory to our label. So we need a, a new control or a new component. We would, we need a timer component and a timer component we will call it timer and enter rail we can put it we can leave it like 100 no problem so it will take every 100 milliseconds less than half than that and tick so this method will fire every we will be fired <coughs> every 100 milliseconds so here we will stop using our label inside inside our inside our thread and we will access our label inside our time once our thread has been finished. So first we have to check if our thread is not equal null. Then then we have to check our 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 thread state equal thread state no wait sleep join so when our thread in join state then we can x means finished mean the job finished then the method finished then we can access our label so we can copy this line here you can call this it yep okay so when when this, yeah and maybe okay, timer start so here we can start our timer and if our thread has been joined or finished then we can stop our timer stop our timer okay okay we will delete the file again here we go Wouldn't need to. Okay, come on, come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. If everything is fine, we can move out the application. Fine, no problem. Here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Here our label was with the Im the the image name or or with the file name and no, no exception. The application hasn't been crashed, nothing. All good. So here is a problem when when you deal with with threading so because the main problem is that we have two threads when when you create a new thread so you can't access the controls any kind of controls inside inside your new thread you can you can you, you can access it outside but you can't access it inside this is a problem for sure if if you deal with threading for the first time you will hit by this problem. I, I hit. I the first time I saw this problem, I was I was going crazy. But anyway, but when I search in the internet, I find I find a solution. I found it. But it's it's when I read about it, it's very common sense. Very common sense. Okay, guys. I hope you like it and thank you for watching and see you soon.